Hanging up at the centre of the gallery is a remarkable 1929 aircraft, the Handley Page Gugnunk. It was a one-off and it was made to compete in a competition to prove that you could make aircraft safe. An American philanthropist and industrialist, Daniel Guggenheim, wanted to show that to build a civil aviation industry you had to build aircraft that were safe. And so the Handley Page Gugnunk embodied some remarkable engineering, design and mathematics to make a safe aircraft. After the competition was over, the aircraft was brought back to the UK and used by the Air Ministry for a series of experimental trials at a facility in Farnborough. Those trials took several years while the experts learned all they could about the science and technology and mathematics of the Handley Page Gugnuk. In 1934, the trials were over and the aircraft was bought back by Handley Page, who had made it in the first place, and they presented it to the Science Museum. It was on display here until 1939, the outbreak of the Second World War, when it went into storage. And it was never shown in public again until now, when we've made it the heart of our new mathematics gallery. When mathematicians and engineers are designing new aircraft, they use models in wind tunnels. Well, we've got the full-size aeroplane in a gallery as if it was a wind tunnel. The aeroplane is used to construct the geometry of this gallery. The layout of showcases and exhibits in it follow the lines of airflow around the aircraft at the centre of the gallery. And so the gallery design itself and its architecture is mathematical. This aeroplane sits at the centre of a gallery of many exhibits, but it stands for many things. It is itself a mathematical exhibit, aviation, aerodynamics, but also we can think about the people who made and designed that aircraft. Who were they? Who were the mathematicians? We know the names of great mathematicians from history, but there are so many mathematical practitioners whose names we don't know, whose work has changed the world around us using mathematics.